wizard from Kansas. A dark shadow is cast across this land. I've waited for you to set things right. Great people of Oz, your wizard is here! Sam, you've given us a world of Oz, taking us back into the history, how the, the wizard became wonderful, but yet you've also given us a whole new world. How is that balancing the existing mythology with what you've created in this new world? Well, we were very aware of what the great classic Wizard of Oz movie looked like, what the Emerald City looked like, what the Yellow Brick Road looked like, but because of legal reasons, we weren't actually able to recreate them exactly. We had to go back to the original source material, which in our case was the books and the descriptions that Al Frank Baum wrote about himself, but also his illustrator, Denslow was his name, and he created some fantastic imagery, which a lot of the original Wizard of Oz movie was based on also. And you used real sets. You didn't rely entirely on, on digital effects and CGI. You created right. them. We really did. We wanted the actors to be grounded. We wanted them to have a place where they could see and feel the walls and the steps and the, and the doors. Did you have any trepidation about going into 3D? A lot, because originally I didn't really like 3D. I had, been, I had seen some bad 3D movies that gave me kind of a headache. But I went to 3D school and I learned how it works and how to put it together. How hard could it be to kill a wicked witch? Well, the only one strong enough to save us all. Michelle Sam Raimi is kind of a wonderful wizard himself really as a director. You just want to put all your eggs in his basket and put all your faith and all your trust and maybe have him raise your kids. I learned so much because, you know, work is work is work. And it's fun and it's exciting and you get to do what you love to do and that's really great, but it's also your job and it's like, you're tired and like, oh, well, maybe you had like a weird day or something. And Sam um, always approached each day with such enthusiasm. And it's great you can share this with your, your daughter as well. This is the perfect kind of film for the. She's really excited about it. She hasn't seen it yet, but she's really excited. Rachel, this film is very different to what we're used to seeing you, a very yeah. different role. Pure fun yeah. for me, I get to play a a uh, Wicked Witch. Um, it's not set on planet Earth, it's set in the Emerald City. I can fly, I can shoot lightning bolts out of my fingers. I'm very, very, very evil, and my character really enjoys being evil. So it's not kind of dark and heavy, I don't think. Mila, I love that your costume, when we initially see you, it's so striking and different for a witch. This is the first time where I can honestly tell you that putting on a costume um, made me understand the character. 100% all the costumes. I think they were so beautiful and so specific and so tailored to such a magical element of the film that without them, I, I don't know if it would have played the same. I mean, for obvious reasons. I mean, it's a very magical movie, but I think that the costumes really impacted it so much. You're going to lead us into battle and take back the throne. We're going to need everyone to believe. James, this story tells us about how the wizard became wonderful. For you, what does it take to become wonderful? The secret to becoming a better person or a good person, uh, I think, is to get out of yourself, to not live life in a way where, you know, you're just trying to get as much as you can. In fact, if you, uh, it's a very simple thing, but if you give or give of yourself or put your attention on others, um, you usually are um, more happy. Are you the great man we've been waiting for? I think I could be.